I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making a motorized version from this letter spinner. When I was a kid, we had one of these salad spinners, and it was a lot of fun to use as a kid. But now I want to make a grown up version of it. So I got this motor from work, and I decided I'm going to power this with this motor. So this is actually an old bench grinder, which you can turn on and off. But I put this speed controller in between so that you can control the speed a bit. Uh, I'll put the tape on here and I'll show it. It does get a lot weaker when you slow it down, but maybe it's useful. I'm not using this and I'm not using this, but I am using this. So it will be the motor hanging something like this with the basket here and I need some sort of a frame for it so let's start with that. So this is the actual frame of the machine, but to give it some more strength and to mount the components I need to mount a plate over here for the bearings and the axle and I'm also going to make the bottom and the front and the back to give these a little bit more strength when I mount the components. These blocks are not entirely square, so I have to kind of force it in place and then clamp it and then I can screw it. Now I have the base of the frame made. I need to make an axle that goes over here, which is mounted with these two bearings over here. And the basket will spin on top of here like this. But first, let's make the axle. So that works. Next thing I want to do is I want to properly mount the motor. So I need to make a swivel point here where I can mount the motor and then I can tension it with some bolts here. This works, so now I can mount the front panel, take all the measurements, make the other panels and then mount everything so I can paint it.
sending, I want to tell you something about hearing protection. I always knew it was important to use hearing protection, but I recently found out that even using a hand cell for two hours or more can already cause hearing damage. With a sender like this, it's already within 15 minutes. Luckily you can do something about it, and Alpine Hearing was kind enough to send me these to try out. I've been using them for a couple of projects and I really like them. These earplugs are designed to block the sounds you make in a workshop, but they still allow you to have a normal conversation. at 1000 rpm the basket cannot really hold itself it's really weak so these two circles that i just made are going to be the holder for it and it's going to be like this this is the base that's driven and this holds the baskets in place and i'm going to connect these with some aluminum tubing with some threaded rod through it all around the rings are done I need to paint them, but I'm gonna put them to the side first because there's something else I need to make and that needs to be painted as well. And that is the switch. I'm gonna make a large, big red switch on the top that you can just hit. So I'm gonna cut it out of plywood, shape it and then paint it. This is the base for the spinning piece, it's painted. So next step is to mount it on the axle. I'm gonna screw the axle on here. And also I have this 3D printed piece that I'm gonna glue and screw on afterwards. And the switch is gonna be this lever that will be over here. So you can push it like this, but this is only wood. This little button, the same button as I used in my YouTube play button lamp is actually activated by pushing the lever. So I need to drill a hole in here and place the button. and this is the on off switch and yeah I'm using the basket from the other salad spinner just to put it in here put your lettuce in it and it just dries itself Next week I'm gonna see how my letter spinner works compared to the one that I bought from the store. That video will be linked over here when it's ready. Until then there's another video that you'll probably like as well. Hit that subscribe button before you leave and don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. See you next week.